Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to tie up a local favorite, Richard's Wet Fly. Richard is a local angler and retired fly fishing photographer well known for his minimalistic yet effective fly patterns. Now, when I pull back the fibers to simulate the fly underwater, you can see how the hackles hug the body and the spiky hairs leave spaces to trap air bubbles. In fact, in the water it behaves strikingly similar to a LaFontaine sparkle pupa. All right, let's get started. I've got some 70 denier UTC thread in red. I'm gonna start this at the front of the hook, leaving about a hook eye's length space so that I don't crowd the hook eye. I'm just gonna wrap this down, fairly even turns, stopping at the barb of the hook. Snip off this tag. Now it's time to tie in the rib, just a piece of copper wire and small. Tie this in at the back and bind it down. Then take the thread back to the rear of the hook again. Now I'm going to grab some dubbing. I prefer a darker blend of hair's ear, so I'm going to grab this one in the middle. Just grab a pinch, spin it onto the thread like so, make a nice dubbing rope. All right, I've got this rope made. I'm just gonna wind forward. Give the rope a spin if it needs one to keep it tight. And just keep advancing forward. I'm going to stop here, about where my thread base stops. Take a few wraps in front. Now grab the wire and wrap forward. I'm just going to wrap under and towards me. Four or five wraps to secure the dubbing. And this will also add a bit of shine to the pattern. Bind this down. Breaker snip your wire off. And now I'm going to come in with some partridge. I've got Hungarian partridge. I'm just going to peel back all the fluff until I'm left with a feather about like this. And you can measure how long your fibers are going to be just by teasing them out and setting them on top like so from the base. And that's going to extend just past the body, which is how I want it. Now I'm going to pull out as many fibers as I can. I'm going to come in with some scissors at the tip, make a few cuts to help with the tie-in point. Now this feather does have a curve, here you can see it goes upwards and here downwards. I'm going to tie it in like this, downwards. Set it on top, take some turns over it. Now we'll snip off the waist. And I'm going to throw a half hitch in here so that nothing comes unraveled while I'm wrapping my hackle. I'm going to grab some hackle pliers, set this on the stem. I'm just going to pull back the fibers and take some touching turns. Pulling them back. I'm going to secure the stem with my tying thread. Break that off. All right, now I'm just going to clean this up and start building up the signature red head that this fly is known for.
come in and throw a whip finish in. Snip off the thread. Put some head cement on. And that's how you tie Richard's wet fly. A simple to tie pattern, yet very effective. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I always appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.